What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Tech Control here again with another video. And this video I'm going to talk about the Call of Duty frame rates once again. Season 3 dropped. A lot of people are having troubles with their game lagging, unplayable. Even people with high-end GPUs like 3080s, 3090s. Surprisingly, uh, they're, they're getting very poor performance even though they have high-end CPUs. And this video... I'm going to talk about the settings that I use and this should be pretty standard uh, for people who have the RTX 3000 series. It will also apply to the 2000 series of course just bear in mind you might have to reduce some settings to low. Uh, anyhow without further ado let's jump right into the video. So let's start off with some basics. So Nvidia did announce for the RTX 3000 series that DLSS is now enabled for Call of Duty Warzone, which is incredible, as so they claim. It boosts your Warzone and Modern Warfare performance PC with the DLS and other features. Now this is going to apply to the 3000 series cards, as far as I know. And it'll say that the frame rates are boosted up by 70%. So I, I, mean, I don't know how true this claim is at 70%, but let's take a look at what the chart says. So at 1080, um, for the 3070, that's the one I have, so I would be going from 154 to 179. And at 1440, this is what I'm concerned with here. You have 4K down here, but my main concern is here. 3070, so I will be getting from 117 to 145. And when I did run the game with uh, DLSS on and everything enabled with um, the texture resolution set to normal, it wasn't set to high, I was averaging about around 140 mark. So first and foremost, let's revisit ADV options. So for this particular uh, game, I actually have this set to way higher than I normally do. So my video memory skill is 0.9. So as close as, you know, I mean, you, you can go 0.95, but we'll leave this at 0.9. And my render worker count, I have the 5600 XDMV. It is a six core processor. So I left that to six. Normally I'd be using uh, 0 0.75, 0 0.8, 0 0.85 at max, and then my render worker count is 4, but in this case we're going to go 0 0.9 and 6. And as far as the NVIDIA drivers, I have the 466.27, those are the latest drivers at the time of this video, and I will be playing at 1440. If I go to the drivers page here, um, April 29th is when these were updated check for updates i don't think there's any nope we got nothing else new and um, of course there's game ready drivers for metro and other games and this is primarily why i had downloaded the drivers because they do support the dlss for warzone and let's check that out in game so in game these are the current settings that i have so with display mode full screen uh, my refresh rate is 165 because I'm using the display port. If I use HDMI, then I go to 144. Therefore, I uh, use the display port to get the 165 to get the max refresh rate. Uh, resolution set to 100, 1440. Aspect ratio is automatic. V-Sync is disabled because my monitor is G-Sync compatible. Uh, frame rates I have custom. I set to 140. In menu, it'll be 60, um, which is obviously when you're not in-game, but custom uh, set to 140. Uh, NVIDIA highlights disabled and my reflex latency I have enable plus boost so with boost it will use a bit of your CPU uh, but I mean obviously when you have a gaming setup it's going to be high end unless you have a low end CPU or you're on a laptop then I wouldn't advise that. Moving forward uh, streaming quality is the normal my texture resolution is normal uh, texture filter is normal, particle quality is high. You can go normal or high, it won't really make too much of a difference. Will impact enabled? Again, you can disable that if you're on like the 2000 series or, or a lower card. Um, and then uh, on-demand texture is disabled. Uh, this is set to 64 or 16. Shadow lighting, uh, so shadow map is set to normal. Um, have the cache spot shadows enabled, uh, sun shadows enabled particle lighting, normal, um, direct X ray tracing. So that's basically the RTX cards. I have that disabled. I find uh, it's not that useful in a game like Call of Duty. The shadows get too dark and whatnot, and I don't really find that too, too useful. And then uh, moving down here, my DLSS is set to quality because that's for 2K gaming. You can set it to performance if you're doing 4K, ultra performance if you're doing 8K, which I mean, I don't know anybody who does that. 
or you can disable it if you're not a big fan of DLSS, but I definitely highly recommend you check out DLSS settings, especially in Call of Duty Season 3, if you have a 3000 card and up. Um, and Anti-Aliasing, Filmic, and SMAT2X, that's what I use. Depth of field is enabled. Motion blur, of course, disabled, disabled. Film grain is 0.25, and dynamic resolution, and that's, these are the settings that I use um, with, my, with my current setup. And gameplay, uh, in-game you can see that I'm getting uh, very good frames, so I'm going uh, between 120 uh, to 135, 140-ish, uh, depending on the graphics being rendered, but no complaints at all. And I am using NVIDIA filters, I have custom filters, I find the game looks much nicer that way. Uh, of course, without NVIDIA filters, you would have uh, better frames uh, but you know when you have a high-end card you do want to push it uh, To as much as you can where you can get smooth gameplay and get um, Very get a very good uh, looking game uh, unless you're competitive and all you care about is you know, frames exclusively and You're playing at 1080 then that's a different story But for me, this is this is more than enough and and I think the game looks uh, very very cool like this and that is it and that is all that brings us to the end of this video uh, thank you so much for watching um, if you found this helpful or useful uh, hit that thumbs up button and feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below i will get back to you and hopefully you have a smooth uh, gaming experience of course with all the money that we invest in our cards especially and the high-end cpus you want to uh, be able to play the games that you enjoy playing and as always, uh, be safe, be well, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Until next time, stay blessed, take it easy, and peace.